Welcome back to our Drupal tutorial series. Today we are diving into a crucial topic that is passing parameters to a controller in a Drupal. This is essential for creating dynamic and interactive website. So let's get started. First thing, passing parameters to controller allows us to send data from URL to our controller method. This data can then be processed and used dynamically in our Drupal application. Let's see how it is done. Step 1 is define a route in your modules.routing.yaml file. Define a path for your controller. Specify the controller method that will handle the request. So we will see how to write the route for that. I already have the one custom module hello world and in that hello world module in the hello world dot routing dot ml file we will create the new route and define the url hello underscore world in the previous videos i already explained how to create the routes if you don't have the idea about that you can watch those videos we get parent then define the path get param and the parameters so we will pass the two parameters param1 param2 so we need to define the parameters in the curly braces next is the defaults after that we need to mention the controller in that uh, we need to pass the path of our controller or drupal slash hello underscore world slash controller slash hello world controller So this hello world controller is already created. Now in this hello world controller, I will define one function and we will mention that function name inside the routes. So we will create the one function. That function name will be the get URL parents. Then title. get parents from url after that requirements underscore permission to access content next attribute is options so this is not a mandatory but if you want to mention type of your parameters like if you want to access only strings in the parameters so you can define those things in the options parameters so param1 its type will be string and uh, param2 its type again will be the string now save the file. In this route, we have defined the path. So this page will be accessible on the glass gate param. And after that, we have defined the controller. And inside the controller, we have mentioned our method name, get URL params. And after that, title requirements. In options, we have mentioned the details about the parameters. The parameter type will be the string. Same for the parameter two. Now go to the controller and create the function with the same name so public function we have defined this here in the our routing so we need to use the same function method name it will accept the two parameters param1 param2 now we will print these parameters output equal to parameter 1 
डॉलर पैरल और न्यू लाइन विल राइट द बी आर then we print the param to dollar output we will concat these two parameters in a one string to dot dollar param to and echo the output dollar output variable and exit save this file don't forget to clear the cache it is required to clear the cache whenever we create the any new route we will clear the cache using the dash cr command the cache is clear as you can see here the parameters specified in a route is automatically passed to the corresponding controller method as an argument now let's see this in action suppose we visit this url with the two parameters like as my website name slash get param and the first parameter name will be the drupal and second parameter name is the academy drupal routes the request to our controller and the drupal and the academy parameters will be passed to the this controller method get url params now i will hit the this url so here you can see we are getting the two parameters value in a two variables in the first parameter we have passed the drupal and the second parameter we have passed the academy same way i will change it to the hello academy it should be in the hello and the academy Now change it to the hello world that's how you can pass the parameters to a controller in a drupal this is powerful feature allow you to create dynamic and interactive web application to your specific needs thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more drupal tutorials see you in the next video